Okay, so you guys made it quite clear that you wanted to see the Netherrealm Mortal Kombat version of MK Hunger Games after I did the Armageddon one. Okay, so just, this, this is bugging me. I just need to... There we go. OCD. Anyway, <laughs> now what I aim to do with this one first was make sure I've got every single Netherrealm original character. Every single character who debuted in the Netherrealm era is in this. Every single one, because that, that was necessary. I mean, if it was just going to be the, the same classic characters from MK1 to 3 again, and they got priority, what would be the point, you know? Um, commentary on modern MK. We're doing it again with the teams of four, although as we learned last time, the teams don't really matter. Characters will just kind of do whatever, which I think is a shame, but yeah. So we have 16 teams of four. First we have the combat kids, Cassie, Jackie, Takeda, Kung Jin, their predecessors, the special forces characters in Sonya, Johnny, Jax, and Kenshi. Then Coastal's forces, Coastal Khan, Ferrator, Ermac, and Aaron Black. Now, Ferrator is going to be referred to as one character in this, it's a, it's a weird thing because when you choose the gender to determine what pronouns are used, there's a question mark option, which is never set by default. It's always set to male or female. So I figured, oh, it'll just say them. That's like for when you don't have male or female. So that'd be useful for Ferrator. It'll be, oh, they do this. No, he doesn't let you do it. So it's going to be referring to his Ferrator as a singular male character, unfortunately. But to be fair, Tor does all the fighting and gets like none of the credit. So, you know, fuck you, Ferrer. Then we have District 4, which is the Denian forces. And in some cases, I've tried to give specific versions of characters the portraits. Sometimes it's just to be uniform. Another time is because, well, MK11 Shiva is the one who is devoted to Sindel, whereas MK9, she clearly wasn't. That like, she had nothing to say about Sindel and actually actively kept her daughter captive. That was dumb in retrospect. So, that's the Denian faction Sindel, Katana, Jade, Shiva. Then we have the White Lotus faction of Raiden, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, and Bo Rai Cho. You might wonder where Fujin is. As I got to the end of it, there were certain characters that wouldn't work in certain other groups. It's a little easier with Armageddon because there were more characters. So I was able to find teams a bit easier there. Here I had to move some things around. For example, I didn't originally have Kano in the Shao Kahn faction. I had to move someone else out of this slot to go to a different team. So here he is with Shao Kahn, Collector and Scarlet. Then we have Melina's faction, Melina, Tanya, Rain and Baraka. Followed by Shinnok's faction, Shinnok, Quan Chi, Noob, Cybot, Devora. Then we have the Kronika faction, Kronika, Cetrion, Garrus, Twindel. Yes, I'm kind of cheating, but let's be honest, if you're a fan of my channel, you probably want to see Twindel get a comeuppance again. So, you know, lots of people here who deserve what is fucking coming to them. Then we have the Cyber Link Way of Sector, Frost, Triborg, and Cyber Sub-Zero. You could argue it's cheating again because it's another Sub-Zero, but, you know, MK9 only had two new characters in the game. So, yeah. Then here's where I started to struggle with the last two. So here's Team Ninja, Scorpion Sub-Zero, Tremor, and Smoke. Because if I was to try and make proper factions with Scorpion Sub-Zero, like, well, here's the, the Scorpion faction. Him and, I guess, Kenshi and Takeda. And then I'd need to find someone else anyway. And we just completely throw off the other factions that are set up at the start. And Sub-Zero, it's like, who am we going to put with Sub-Zero? Smoke, sure. Maybe Cyrax. Then what? All the other Link Way associated characters who fucking despise him? <laughs> nah. And then we have Team Aftermath. I feel like I'm making fucking KOF teams. You know, that could be a fun thing to do as an equivalent to this if someone knows how to do it. Make a KOF equivalent of this where you make teams of three and they compete in the tournament and they get eliminated as a group. That'd be really cool, actually. But yeah, so Team Aftermath is Shang Tsung, Nightwolf, Fujin, Reptiles. So Fujin was moved here from the White Lotus group. Reptiles here just to make up numbers. And I did consider moving Shiva down here. And I guess I could have put Twindel there, but Twindel can get fucked. And Shiva, if it didn't have Shiva there, who else would go here? There's no one else who's in the Indian Loyals. But, well, I could have done Ermac, but Ermac has no association with them in this timeline. I would have had to move Reptile here, I guess. It, it's a whole thing. Now, one thing you might notice here is that I've gone through these characters... And if you discount the guest characters, which I am because I did consider having a team of guests, but I decided I'm going to do a separate Hunger Games just for them. You may notice that I've used basically everyone from the Netherrealm games. Like from MK9, who we're missing? We're missing Cabal, Striker. And that's, that's it, I'm pretty sure. I mean, unless I'm just missing someone really obvious. And then MKX, Goro is missing. Oh, Kintaro, because he doesn't have a portrait, so I didn't know it's him. But yeah, so Goro and Kintaro, and then go to MK11 and... I don't think there's anyone else missing there. So there's, there's like four characters not in this. And Armageddon had a bunch more characters. I could have had a bunch more teams if I had, if the game would, would allow you to have more than just the 12. So I think that's quite a notable detail, uh, a, a kind of a commentary on Netherrealm Mortal Kombat, how samey the roster is, how small the universe is, that we've got basically everyone. 
and we would have been even closer to everyone if I didn't double up on Sub-Zero and also include an extra Sindel. It's kind of sad when you think about it. So it begins as... Hmm, hold on. I just need to move things a little bit more. There we go. Okay. As the tribute stand on the podiums, the horn sounds. Quan Chi runs away from the cornucopia, which is accurate to Quan Chi. He's kind of a, a weak bitch, so he should be running away. Liu Kang runs away from the cornucopia. I feel like that's necessary, because if Liu Kang stayed at the cornucopia, he would just fucking kill everyone. <laughs> Scarlet grabs a jar of fishing bait while Kung Lao gets fishing gear. Oh, it should have been Liu Kang getting the fishing gear or the fishing bait because he is, according to the MK1 comic, canonically a fisherman. Smoke finds a canteen full of water. Where there is smoke, there is water. Kenshi runs away. I mean, it makes sense. He can't see what anyone else is doing. I'm going to try not to make many blind jokes after that. Cassie strangles Garrus with a rope. <laughs> Wait, is he, is he dead already? And unfortunately, unlike in the canon, he can't come back from this. So I, I think... Which would be a cool detail if you could give characters multiple lives. But yeah, so I think Garrus is out already. Like, Kronika's ultimate enforcer has been strangled to death by Cassie Cage. <laughs> oh, if that had been Scorpion, it would have been so funny. Shang Tsung runs away. Makes sense. Cetrion snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag, which he's not going to use. There's not going to be a point where she throws a Molotov. I, w I, w I said it last time, I wish there was a proper inventory system in this thing, but nah. Tremor runs away. Shao Kahn runs away like a little bitch. Sindel runs away. Ermac runs away. Frost finds a bag of explosives. Someone else is going to use those explosives, I guarantee. You remember, remember last time when Moloch took out like three dudes with plastic explosives? It's so funny. Rain takes a spear from the cornucopia. Shiva runs away. Borai Cho runs away. Nightwolf runs... I wish you would just list all the characters who run away all at once. Setsu finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Tanya runs away. Sonya runs away. Oh, damn it. God fucking... Da I forgot to click the thing that changes the uh, the nicknames. So, Twindell is no longer known as Twindell. She's known as Brain of Tarth. I, I mean, at this early stage, I could go back and reset it, but I'm going to keep it like this. One, because that's funny, that Twindale's Brienne of Tarth. And two, because <laughs> I want to keep the timeline going where Garrus is strangled to death by Cassie Cage. So we're going to stick with it, okay? Uh, I'll try not to fuck this up when I do the guests, because that would be embarrassing. It's like, oh yeah, John Rambo, aka Brienne of Tarth. Johnny Cage retrieves a trident from inside the cornucopia. Aaron Black runs away. Cyber Sub-Zero runs away. Ooh, Reptile Baraka, Takeda Takahashi and Jackie Briggs share everything they gathered before running. Okay, these two, yes. These two, yes. With each other, though? I mean, remember, this dude is like, oh no, I get it. I get it, because these two pairs face off, and then Jackie's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Remember, Reptile spat acid in Takeda's face, and then I cleared it with water, and that was one of like, the key setup moments for the romance. So she's thankful for, to Reptile for giving her that setup, and so she's like, you may live this time, Reptilius, and she, she lets him go. Nice. Oh no, Kano's Twindell, because... Oh, oh, oh no! No! Oh. That means there are two Twindells to die. K and Kano finally serves a, a narrative purpose. Because normally Kano is just there to be Sonya's nemesis and just lose to her in like a third or fourth fight in the story. But now he gets to give us more pleasure by being an extra Twindell for us to kill off. Yes, yes, I like it. I like that a lot. Actually, it's kind of like um, Deadly Alliance in Kano's ending. He gets his... No, it's Quan Chi's ending, that's it. He blasts the life out of Kano, and because he just killed Shang Tsung, Liu Kang's soul is free, and he enters Kano's body. So you can imagine <laughs> that the Kano in the, in the game when you're playing it is Liu Kang possessing his dead body. So that's what happened is Kano's corpse has been taken over by another twin Dell. Perfect. I, I'm so good at making Mortal Kombat canon better. Noob runs away. Devora and Ferator fight for a bag. Devora gives up and retreats. Not true to the canon. Uh, in the canon, Devora supposedly killed Ferator. Crook. Kronika rips a mace out of Jax's hands. Fortunately, she didn't kill him for it. It is impressive that Kronika, the weak bitch that she is, is able to pull something out of Jax's big robot hands. Sub-Zero runs away. Tribog runs away. Raiden pushes Fujin off a cliff <laughs> during the day of fight. Oh, no. I wonder. Cause I can't remember if characters can fight to the death if they're from the same district. I think they can. I, th I think it really is just a pointless addition. But yeah, Raiden pushes his brother off a cliff during a knife fight, like at the end of Commando. And I, I guess that is that cliff from MK4. You can survive it. Fujin should survive. He can fly. But I guess... Oh no, Raiden had visions of last time. Yes, Raiden had visions of the previous timeline in Armageddon when Fujin presumably was the one who summoned that big tornado that killed like five people. So yeah, he's like, 
like, I'm sorry, brother, but I can't let you do this. Because <laughs> I like, didn't kill, like, three Earth heroes. Like, sorry, Fujin, <laughs> you're too much of a liability to the team. Uh, Melina grabs a sword, Sherlock takes a spear, Coastal snatches a, a alcohol and a rag, Collector takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia, Tana runs away, Kung Jin runs away. It would have been better if this was... Coastal should have gotten that, and Collector, I'm pretty sure he has a boss that he can throw, so he should have had the, the alcohol. This is not right. Kung Jin runs away, Jade runs away, Scorpion runs away, proceed. So, Katana runs away from Shinnok. Makes sense, although if this was like MK11 girl boss, Katana, she'd be like, she'd just fucking kill him. Shao Kahn isn't dead, just blinded. Shinnok isn't dead, just decapitated. Tremor receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. I mean, people did like Tremor. They completely forgot about him after like a week after his release, but people liked him enough. Jackie Borai, Cho, and Cyber Sub-Zero get into a fight. Cyber Sub-Zero triumphantly kills them both. Oh, that's sad, because because Borai, Cho, remember... I'm going to zoom this in. This is, this is, t this is not right. Okay, so it should be... Sorry about that. <laughs> Sub-Zero worked with Boracho to destroy the Cyber Link way. Like, Boracho helped him do that. And now, Cyber Sub-Zero just killed him. Sad days. Cassie diverts Scarlet's attention and runs away. Jade begs for Quan Chi to kill her. He refuses, keeping her alive. I'm gonna alternate headcanon this and say that he killed her. She became a revenant in his service. And now he's gonna use her to kill other people. Which means that Quan Chi is finally making use of revenant Jade's services. Because even in MK9, when he actually has the revenants attack Raiden, she's part of the last group that doesn't actually fight him because he retreats. Noob Cybot receives a food stash from an unknown sponsor. Ferrato, Ermat, Baraka, Johnny Cage, and Kronika hunt for other tributes. I'm still not sure if that's meant to just... No, because it would list them separately. So I think it is meant to be these five have formed a hunting party. Ferrato, Ermac, Baraka, Johnny Cage, and Kronika. Yeah, I'm sure Kronika would work with Johnny Cage, the guy who fucked up her son. Retard chases Shiva. Collector tends to smoke wounds. What a, what a nice guy. Twindel scares Sector off. Yeah, sure. I mean, I guess he saw what Sindel did to all the heroes in MK9 and got scared. Kano, Cole Khan, and Jax hunt for other tributes. Kung Jin sprays his ankle while running away from Rain. <laughs> well, I guess Rain still doesn't catch up, though. Tribal practices his, his archery. None of the Lin Kuei do archery. Just... Sorry about all the sound the chair is making. It's just... Hmm. None of the Lin Kuei do archery, so I don't know who that he got that from. Cetrion picks flowers. She is the nature person, so it makes sense. Kung Lao goes hunting. Nightwolf thinks about home. It's all he fucking does. Uh, the lands of the Matoka. So Zero searches for a water source. Why? So we can freeze it and make sure no one can drink. Aaron Black thinks about home. Is this modern Texas or Sonya Blade constructs a shack? Shao Kahn steals from Tanya while she isn't looking. He, he is a stealthy ninja. Remember how he killed Kung Lao? He can do this. Kenji scares Sindel off. Frost shoots an arrow at Takeda, but misses and kills Raiden. <laughs> Why are the, 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 the gods all just being like offed so easily? Like Raiden is like, oh, sorry, brother, in this knife fight. I'm going to push you off a cliff. And then Frost fucking kills Raiden by ac- Raiden dies by accident. That's what this is. It's to make up for Liu Kang's accidental death. And this thing's going to keep the canon acknowledgement reference the streak going. Because Liu Kang fishes. That's canon. That's real. Oh, that's... <laughs> I'm going to print screen that. And then I'm going to... Save that for later and post it on Twitter. No, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to post it on Twitter right now. And that'll be a cool little tease for what I'm working on. No context. Just do it. And some people are going to recognize that and go, Haha, yes, I know the, the, the canon detail. Because I've seen that video that Snake did on MK1. Yes. Dev Devor... Oh. He's too zoomed in now. Devorah begs Melina to kill her. She refuses and keeps Devorah alive. Very unswag, Melina. You're supposed to kill Devorah who killed you, remember? Shang Tsung tends to Scorpion's wounds. What a nice guy. See, this is why he has to be zoomed out, because you can't see everything. Five cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Geras, who was strangled to death <laughs> by Kazik. Fujin, Jackie, Borai Cho, Raiden. So we'll see everyone's status. So right now, the combat kids have lost Jackie Briggs. The special forces, Generation 1, are still going. So our Coastal's forces, the Edenians. The White Lotus has already lost both of its mentor figures. Luke and Kulo are too busy fishing to notice, I guess. Shao Kahn's faction still going strong. So is Molina's and the Brotherhood. Twindale's lost Garrus. Not, sorry, Kronika's lost Garrus, but Twindale's still around. Yeah, so this, this says Twindale. So I guess the names are listed here, but during the thing it lists nicknames. I don't know why the thing bothers with nicknames. Especially when it's Hunger Games. I mean, I guess it's for the Game of Thrones stuff or something, but Cyber Link Quay's still going. Team Ninja still got... <laughs> Team Ninja. Team Aftermath has unfortunately lost Fujin. So yeah, like, all the mentor figures for Liu Kang Kung Lao have died. It's up to them, I guess. Cyber Sub-Zero and Sub-Zero running to each other and decide to truce for the night. Oh, I, I, I was honestly expecting that the two would end up fighting to the death, but... 
That's nice for the two to work together. That's really fun. Tribal, Kotal Khan and Frost sleep in shifts. Liu Kang sees a fire but stays hidden. Sonya collects a Baraka, Shao Kahn, Quan Chi sleep in shifts. What? I could kind of see these guys working together, but why is Sonya here? I don't know, maybe, maybe Quan Chi did his, his dumb bullshit and he's like, Sonya Blade, you're going to work with us. And then it wears off like by morning. Sindel looks at the night sky. Noob Cybot kills Katana for her supplies. <laughs> So I guess Sindel wasn't looking and Noob's just like, I'm gonna sneak in and murder her daughter. Smoke sets a fire because where there is smoke, there is fire. Shang Tsung sets up camp for the night. Jack lets Takeda into his shelter. Yeah, son-in-law. Nice. Melina, Rain and Jade start fighting, but Rain runs away as Melina kills Jade. It kind of happened in MK Chronicles. Not really, but kind of, but not really, but kind of. Oh, wait, hang on. So these two were in the faction together, right? So this means that these two ambushed Jade. Rain bricked it and ran off. And then Melina managed to beat Jade on her own because Rain is a useless tool. Kano tends to Nightwolf's wounds. I guess he felt bad for killing him that one time, supposedly. Johnny Kronik and Devorah cheerfully sing songs together. <laughs> what? Yeah, so Devorah, who stole the amulet and, and led to Kotal, mistakenly thinking Earthrealm was in cahoots with Shinnok. And the woman who's pissed off that Johnny beat Shinnok and all, all that stuff. Also, Devorah helped kidnap Johnny, don't forget that. All this, and they're just going to pal around together? It's so silly. Ferator quietly hums. I guess that's Ferra humming to, to Tor to make him feel better, uh, which is like more character than Ferator got in the games or the comics. Kung Lao receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Kung Jin begs for Sector to kill him, but he, why is why does this one keep coming up? Like, this should be the occasional thing, not every fucking face someone begs for death and doesn't get it. She even thinks about winning. I guess that's the girl boss attitude. Just think about winning and it will happen. Cassie receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor that she'll never use. Tanya and Erin tell stories about themselves to each other. What stories? Uh, I, I'm a traitor to everyone I know and love. I, I'm some arsehole from Texas. Setron and Trevor fight Scarlet and Twindell. Scarlet and Twindell survive. Ah, so the, uh, Nature and Earth both died to the weird MK11 retcon brigade, aka the, Shao, the, the weird Shao Kahn retcon harem brigade. Fuck you, MK11. Reptile passes out from exhaustion. Doing what? Kenshi, Shinnok, Scorpion, uh, and Ermac tell each other stories to lighten the mood. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what they would talk about, but okay. Oh, no, they're, they're, it's the dead team, because it's Shinnok, the god of evil and death. Ermac, who's made up of dead people. Scorpion, who is a dead person. And Kenshi, who died on Shang Tsung's island, according to the, the, the crypt. Kotal attacks Collector, but Cassie protects him, killing Kotal. I mean, Cassie doesn't have any beef with Collector, but Kotal is a traitor, so I guess it makes sense. Jenok constructs a shack, Devora discovers a river, Tanya hunts for other tributes, Kung Lao sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Quan Chi begs for Melina to kill him, but she... <laughs> every time! But why is it every time? Is this part of, like the Game of Thrones set, where it's it's like, like when you play Cards Against Humanity and you have to pick sets from different properties and different themes? And so this is like a Game of Thrones thing, so... Because when you choose the size this big, it defaults to Game of Thrones characters for some reason. It's just Stupid. Kenshi, Kronika, Scarlet, Barak, and Tribog hunt for other tributes. Shang Tsung accidentally steps on a landmine. <laughs> yeah, so the pre-order bonus for MK1 stepped on a landmine and died. <laughs> Shao Kahn chases Cyber Sub-Zero. I guess he wants that body like he had in Cyber Sub-Zero's ending. Shiva stabs Ermac with a tree branch. <laughs> I think he's dead then. Because I think if it doesn't specify they survive, then they don't. Kenji camouflages himself in the bushes. That sheer idea ninja training paying off in strides. Twindel makes a wooden spear. I guess she lost her Quandao somewhere along the way. Smoke injures himself through unspecified means. Frost sets an explosive off, killing Scorpion and Ferritor. Oh, so she... So, no, yeah, Frost did get the, get the explosive before, right? That's a plot point that actually paid off. Frost actually managed to kill Scorpion, her nemesis, who she's no reason to be an enemy of, and Ferrator at the same time. I guess Ferrator was just collateral. Rain chases Liu Kang because in Defender of the Realm, Rain was Katana's fiance, and he's like, fuck you, Liu Kang, I want my my Edenian blue waifu. Sub-Zero brains sprains his ankle off running from new Cybot. An actual confrontation between brothers. Why is Sub-Zero getting all the stuff that makes sense? Like, why is he the guy? Jack sprains his ankle off running from, tw uh, from Kano, not Twindell. Uh, which really should be the other way around, because Jack's normally the one chasing Kano. Johnny Cage and Sector track down and kill Reptile. <laughs> I don't know why these two are ganging up on Reptile. Eren, Sonya, Kung Jin, Sindel, and Nightwolf hunt for other tributes. See, that's a team that makes sense. It's, it's a team of, like, good guys and technical good guys, because this is MKX, Eren, the present one. So, uh, 10 cannon shots. Yeah, 
Day two ended with Katana, Jade, Cetrion, Tremor, Coastal Khan, Shang Tsung, Ermang, Scorpion, Ferritor, and Reptile die. So the combat kids have had their first loss, by which I mean no loss there. Special Force is still going strong. Eren's the only survivor of Coastal's forces. I guess that's why he teamed up with everyone else. Shiva's happy because she gets to be with her fucking waifu. Oh yeah, Cassie's killed two people. Johnny's killed a person. She's killed a person in the name of Sindel. Liu Kang Kung Lao is still just hanging out, doing whatever. Scarlet's killed two people in the name of Shao Kahn's force, which is still going strong. Melina's force is still going strong with one kill by Melina. The Brotherhood of Shadow, ironically, haven't lost anyone yet, despite being the faction from Hell. Devor... I mean, Kurt Noob rather has killed someone. I don't know why I almost called him Devora. I guess it's the Hood. Twindale killed two people and Kronika is still going, but Kronika's actual central people are dead. It can be hard to tell actually sometimes because the Revenants are grey and Noob is all black, so they can kind of blend in. They don't really stand out among the black and white characters. Sector, Frost and Cybers. The, the Cyber Initiative's doing doing real good. Like they, They've got six kills between them. Tribog's a useless piece of shit, but these guys are, are dominating. Then Sub-Zero and Smoke have become the classic Lin Kuei in response to Tremor and Scorpion's deaths. And Nightwolf is the only character left from Team Aftermath. Even though of the three characters who were in Aftermath, he is ironically the first one to die in, the, in that story. Tanya destroys Melina's supply. They're on the same side! Did you hear about the stuff with Baraka and said, nah, I'm not having that. See guys, this is the thing, is a lot of people like really romanticize Tanya and Melina in the games. Like if you're making your own alternate version, it's fine like I did. But in the game, people romanticize these two and it's just a, clearly a very toxic relationship. Like what is it with the, with these people like romanticizing toxic relationship, especially with the LGBT stuff? It's like, oh yo, those two relationship goals and it's like one fucking beats the other one up. Stop it. She even Twindell sleep in shift. She's like, oh, M M McQueen. And Twindell's like, yeah, I'm I'm totally Sindel. Shiva, you stupid fuck. <laughs> Bracken and Shinnok sleep in shift. I mean, Bracken did work for Shinnok and MK Gold. Not in this timeline, but I Shinnok could know about it. Set of toys are woken by nightmares. Nightmares of what? The fact that he's a, he's, a, he's a useless bitch who only appeared in one game in this timeline. Nightwolf tries to sing himself to sleep. <laughs> That's so sad. Cassie receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. I don't see this going well. Cyber Sub-Zero lights a fire, ironically, but stays hidden. Quan Chi goes to sleep. Yeah, sleep forever. Noob receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Kano defeats Liu Kang in a fight but spurs his life. Interesting choice. Kano did... Yeah, yeah, they did work together briefly in the, in the Malibu comics. And Kano shanked Liu Kang, but then Kung Lao showed up and saved him. That was Kung Lao's introduction, like saving Liu Kang after Kano tried to murder him. Frost attacks Eren Black and Sindel. No, but Sindel protects him, killing Frost. I mean, if you, I mean, come on, if you had to, to intervene in a fight between Frost and Eren Black and save one of them, who would you pick? Notice me, Senpai, or the guy who used to be cool? Like, Frost was never cool. Eren was somewhat cool. And it, okay, not, okay. I, he was never cool. He was theoretically cool. Some people may have found him cool. Frost was never cool, ironically. Attacking the Fed Sonya Johnny and Triborg away from his fire. Wow, the dude's gone fucking feral. It's like, ah, oh, yes, the, the general and, and my technical mentor in the special forces. Yeah, Tucker has got a lot of mentors. And also Triborg is there and he's like, no, fuck you guys. This is my fire. I, I, I guess Jackie's death, like, really hit him hard. Devor and Scarlet huddle for warmth. <laughs> Like, surely if Scarlet wants to be warm, she can just, like, cut Devorah open and just have her blood soak her. But I'll keep her warm for a bit. Jax begs Smoke to kill him, but he refuses to keep Jax alive. <sighs> I'm not going to make the joke. It's too, too grim. Kronika receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Whoever that is, I hope you get something horrible disease. You shouldn't be helping Kronika. Shao Kahn sets explosive off killing Kung Lao and Collector. Yeah, so they, 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 it's just, that, that, that's a funny version of MK9, isn't it? Right, Shao Kahn instead of sneaking up on Kung Lao just fucking throws a grenade at him. I mean, that's, that's a more reasonable reason for no one to intervene, right? Instead of it being like, he walks up behind Kung Lao and snaps his neck, it's, he throws an explosive. Everyone's like, hang on, would Shao Kahn get a grenade? And everyone's too shocked to react to it. And Collector's just collateral. Kung Jin defeats Kenshi to fight but spurs his life. So you're telling me, the guy voiced by Johnny Young Bosch defeats the guy who was played in Legacy Season 2 by Dan Southworth and spurs his life? You're telling me that Nero defeats Virgil and lets him live? Is that what you're telling me right now, game? Then Rain, Rain strangles Sub-Zero with a rope. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Day 3, Cyber Sub-Zero constructs a shack. I heard what happened to the other Sub-Zero. I'm, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just going to move this over. It's a lot of moving this shit around in this video, I'm sorry. Smoke, Cassie, and Quan Chi get into a fight. Cassie triumphantly kills them both. I have to assume that Quan Chi had Smoke as a revenant at this point, and so Cassie just killed both. Sonya begs Kano to kill her. He refuses and keeps her alive. 
I don't know why she's begging for death when her daughter's just killed Quan Chi and Smoke. Like, her daughter just got two kills and she's like, I can't do this anymore. My daughter's a monster. Please, Kano, put me out of my misery. And he's like, nah, this is too fun. Liu Kang finds a cave. Noob explores the area. I, I thought he was going to say Noob explodes. <laughs> Kronika receives medical supply. Why is everyone helping Kronika? I, I know she's a useless bitch who can't do anything on her own, but fuck, you know? Baraka and Triborg split up in search of resources. Odd pairing. Nightwolf discovers a cave. Johnny camouflages himself in the bushes. Devorah discovers a river. Rain attacks Jax, but he manages to escape. Sindel receives fresh food from our sponsor. Yes, thank you, sponsor. Kenji explodes the... I thought I was going to say Kenji explodes as well. Now he explodes the arena. Oh, it was so funny if one of these mentioned, like... If it says Kenji sees a fire in the smoke in the distance or something, that'd be so funny. Shinnok receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Shiva sets an explosive off killing Scarlet. Why is it with the monster characters and using plastic explosives? This isn't right. Sector makes a slingshot. You got flamethrowers and missiles and, and fucking laser swords, but you're going to make a slingshot? Takeda receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Kung Jin, Shao Kahn, Twindel and Tanya hunt for other tributes. Fucking why? Eren thinks about home. So this this day, Frost, Kung Lao, Collector, Sub-Zero, Smoke, Quan Chi, and Scarlet have died. Combat kids are still doing pretty well. Special Forces are still doing really good. Kung Lao died, so Liu Kang's on his own. He's the only White Lotus left. The representative of the White Lotus for the combat, the, the Fist of the Lotus, one might say, if anyone gets that reference. Shao Kahn and Kano, the only ones left of Kahn's forces. Melina's forces are still doing well. Even though Tanya stole from, from Melina, those, that faction's still alive. Brotherhood finally lost Quan Chi. Kronika's on her own. No, no, she's still, no, Twindel's still around. So, see what I mean about it? It's hard to tell. The Cyber Lin Kuei's still going strong, and the original, in the Team Ninja's all dead. So the original Lin Kuei's gone, and Nightwolf's still around. Yeah. I think Scorpion Sub-Zero got eliminated relatively early as well last time. Like their whole team. Kronika goes to sleep. Sleep forever. Sonya, Shinnok, and Melina sleep in shifts. Um... Again, I don't know how, um, how many different ways I can say one odd combination of characters that is. Wow. Takeda stays awake all night. Yeah, he's, <laughs> Jackie died. I think Kenji's still going though, so I think he's still got that going from. Although his mentor died too, so he's lost two of the people closest to him. Baraka <laughs> tends to Johnny Cage's wound. I guess he's like, oh yeah, you let me live in the tournament, so I owe you a favor, dog. <laughs> Tanya cooks her food before putting the her fire out. She does have fire power, so, you know, checks out. Sub Sub Zero climbs a tree to rest. <laughs> would it support his weight? I don't know that it would. Kano, Rain, Sindel, Jackson, Kung Jin sleep in shifts. Uh, nah, Jackson Kano would never. I could see Rain doing it just to get close to, to Sindel so he can, like, murder her. He does seem the kind who would go for a subterfuge, as we see in MKX. Cassie cooks her food before putting her fire out. Sector and Tribog run into each other inside to truce. What do you mean, truce for the night? They're on the same team. This is so dumb. Shiva stays awake all night. Devorah defeats Kenji in a fight with Spurs' his life. She would never. She would never. Noob defeats Eren Black in a fight with Spurs' his life. He would never. He would never. Nightwolf loses sight of where he is. Thank God that wasn't Kenji. Uh, Liu Kang screams for help. He just he just goes into the middle of a field and goes, What's up? And someone's like, mm, What was that? Shao Kahn and Twindel run into each other and decide to truce for the night. I, well, that, that one actually makes sense because in the, the mechanics of this thing, they aren't in a team together. And character-wise, it makes sense for these two. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. Day four. Johnny bashes Cassie's head against the rock several times? Oh, see, guys, this is why I... One of the reasons I criticise the modern Netherrealm finishers is it's just so weird. I mean, some people say, oh, it's just gameplay. And, like, yeah, I, I get it. It's still fucking weird to see Johnny do stuff like this to his daughter, you know, murdering her brutally and violently. But, yeah, this is this 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 image is indicative of Netherrealm MK, and I, I, I don't like it. Shinnok questions his sanity. I mean, come on, if you're just a, a living severed head, you would as well. Shao Kahn discovers a cave. Sub Sub Zero bashes Shiva's head in with a mace. Don't know where he got that. He probably, he probably made it with ice. <laughs> Twindel, who isn't named Twindel, stalks Kano, who's named Twindel. <laughs> that's good. Taki, this is goes Kronika off. Oh, so that's why he's not in MK11, because Kronika had to erase him from time or something, because she knew. No, she sealed him away in the, in the void, because she knew he was too powerful. Devorah sprains her ankle while running from Sonya Blade. I guess she really wanted to get away from Ronda Rousey's terrible acting. Aaron Black picks flowers. Dude just lost it at this point. Seto diverts Tribog's attention and runs... Diverts, diverts his teammates' attention and runs away. Why? Kung Jin fishes. I guess he learned that from Liu Kang, but for a second I thought he said he died. He said Kung Jin dies and that's it. Which is probably canon. Sindel and Rain work together for the day. Sure. Tanya hunts for other tributes. Jack sends a Kenshi's wounds. Yes. 
Kenji's kind of just made out to be like the bro for Johnny and Jax. Well, he has literally no connection to Sony. I don't think he even interacts with her at all. But with, with Johnny and Jax, he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm the bro guy because I've got nothing else to do. Liu Kang steals from Baraka while he's looking. That isn't very honorable of you, Liu Kang. <laughs> What do you reckon he stole from Brock in the new timeline? But do you think he stole his identity, stole his uh, his backstory, his abilities? What has he done to ruin Baraka in the new timeline? Who knows? Did he steal his existence? That's why he's not on the roster yet. Hmm. Might will search for firewood. Malia and Noob split up to search for resources. Sure. Only Cassie and Shiva died this time, so this means... Well, that's weird. The combat kids have lost the girls, the only two who came back. The guys are the ones who are alive. Special Force is still alive and kicking, which... This feels like Netherrealm right This is Netherrealm writing. Keep the old generation around and get rid of half the new ones. Fuck. Shit. Eren, still going. Sindel's the only one left for Idenia. And I think that's it for the actual changes. I can't get over Johnny beating his daughter's head in with a rock. It's so wrong. Melina receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Shenok is able to... Wait a minute. I'm so fucking stupid. I could have done this from this. I could have zoomed in a lot from the start. Fuck's sake. Melina receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. It's not even... It's even no, it's not sensible. I can't, I can't get... Uh, never mind. Shenok is unable to start a fire with sleeps without warmth. So Sub-Zero loses sight of where he is. Tribal and Kronika talk about the tribute still alive. What would Triborg's place be in Kronika's faction? I mean, other, no, not it, not as part of the Cyberlink Quail. Like, if he was just a, a solo act, what would his role be? Because he could make a pretty decent assassin. You know what? No. Triborg should have been, been in the game in place of Garrus. It would have been way cooler. Like, it's something Kronika, like, orchestrated to exist, and she reactivated him. Eren passes out from exhaustion. Sector destroys Twindale's supplies while she's asleep, but he doesn't kill her. Devora thinks about home, that the hive, yeah, that, that checks out all she does. Kano and Johnny Cage run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Bold choice. I have a truce with the guy who is your wife's nemesis. So what's Shao Kahn and Sindel going to be? I've not looked at it yet. Shao Kahn and S Sleep in Shifts? This is just MK11 fanfic bullshit. Tanyan Rain. Tanyan Rain holds hands. Now that's something that you would see in MK11. You know, just dumb relationships that come out of nowhere. And then fans would get mad that it's like uh, trying to erase Tanya's LGBTness, even though she's bi, not gay. And bi people are allowed to be into members of the opposite sex. That, that's allowed, guys. Stop. The bi, bi erasure is real and it needs to stop. If you're the kind of person who does that, please cease. Uh, do like Fujin and get pushed off a cliff during a knife fight. You can grab onto it like Jarek did. It's fine. Just just please get knocked off a cliff. That's all I'm saying. Kung Jin attempts to start a fire, but he's unsuccessful. Kenshi receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Jack strangles Jacket after engaging in a fist fight. <laughs> this is so wrong. It's so wrong. He just fucking strangles his son-in-law to death. Yeah, it looks like it looks like the, the the death of Jackie really hit both of them hard, which definitely hold up hold up for Jax. Like Jax would absolutely completely become the Joker, basically, if something happens to Jackie. We, we see that in MK11, how much it would clearly affect him. I wonder if Takeda started the fight. Like he's like, ah, Jax, it's your fault. You didn't train her good enough. You should have been there. And then Jax is like, sorry, Takeda, you, you you're off the deep end. He strangles him to death. Uh, Nightwolf receives clean water. Sonya receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor while going to work. <laughs> Side bottom, only you can hold hands. <laughs> this, this is the real fire and ice of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> These two just fucking holding hands. <laughs> Baraka passes out from exhaustion. Yeah, that's about what I expected. And if I'm doing all this zooming shit, sorry, and, and sorry to, to do this again, but if I'm doing this zooming shit, I can do that. Yeah! The issue with zooming is that part of this stuff isn't going to be shown, but this works. Day 5. Cyber Sub Zero searches for firewood, ironically. Tanya and Liu Kang work together for the day. Liu Kang, did you not. You've seen the other timelines. Did you not see what happened to that version of you from Tanya's end in MK4? Like, you got obliterated before he even got off the ground, almost. Devora fishes. A bug eating fish. Now that's weird. Kenji picks flowers. Okay. Rain travels to higher ground. Melina takes a wooden. Uh, makes a wooden spear. Triborg sprains his ankle. How do you. Sp how do you sprain your ankle if you're a fucking robot? That's insane, dude. But it is against Twindel. You have to remember, MK9 Sindel killed Cyber Sub Zero by fucking punching him, so I guess it technically holds up. Kunjin questions his sanity. Yeah, you know, he's the last of the combat kids. The last one who died got strangled by his own father in law. Yeah, you would question your sanity. Sector begs for Behan to kill him, but he refuses. That. I don't see Sector begging for death, but if he did, I, I do see Behan be like, ha ha. Like, no, sorry. Ha <laughs> ha. LOL. Because that, that's how Behan talks. <laughs> Shinnok chases Kronika. <laughs> She's like, no, son, why are you doing this? And he's like, I mean, you're seeing how family falls apart in this thing. Sorry, you gotta die. 
Or maybe he's just tired of being reset and he's like, I'm, I'm sick of this bullshit. And to be fair, you know, it's like, Shinnok is a better villain than Kronika. Not saying much. Shinnok isn't that great a villain. He's on the, the lower tier. But he's definitely better than Kronika. Like, Kronika's like... Kronika's the kind of villain where if you're making a tier list of MK's villains, you put Kronika on the bottom tier, and then you go add tier above, add tier above, add tier above, add tier above, and have, like, 20 blank tiers in between Kronika and the next person above her. Sonya picks flowers, sure. I guess it's a mem... A Mem remembrance of her daughter who's died. Shao Kahn taints Kano's food, killing him. That is presumably how he poisoned Onaga, because he did poison him to death. Well, poison him until he was weak enough to kill him. Presumably in his food. We don't know for sure, but it's more likely than, like, gas grenades or injecting him with something. Baraka discovers a cave. Johnny Cage practices his archery. Aaron Black chases Sindel. Jax practices his archery. Nightwolf, who is an archer, doesn't practice his. He, he smoke rises in the distance and doesn't investigate. So Takeda and, and Kano are dead. Oh yeah, Kano is on Shao Kahn's side, but then again, they are villains. Mm -hmm. Why are the special forces so good? I mean, they're not killing many people, but they've managed to stick around this long. I mean, they got less collective kills than Cassie got on her own, and she got her head caved in by her father. Yeah, so Shao Kahn's down to his own. Brotherhood is doing well. So Cyber Lin Kuei. Yeah, he's mostly down to one-off characters with a few factions that have managed to stick around. Nightwolf, Jax, Aaron Black get into a fight. Nightwolf kills them both. That's just cruel now. You don't need to kill Jax. But I guess Jax is just on a rampage at this point. Like Colossus in Age of Apocalypse after Kitty died. So he's just going around just like, I can't do this anymore. I'm just going to murder. Shao Kahn convinces Liu Kang stuck. <laughs> Okay, like, you know, sometimes you see a thing and you just have to post it on Twitter. Hmm, 20 likes already, nice. Post it on Twitter and, you know, just, just, just do it. No, no context, just, just put it there and... Noob Cybot, Sonya Blade, Cyber Sub Zero and Baraka tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. I am a ghost. We are both flawed copies of our former selves. M my, my husband m murdered our daughter by caving her head in. And Baraka's expression is like exactly the expression he has when he hears what Sonya just said. He's like, ah! Because how does one react to that? Jennifer Hale, Jennifer Hale and Tribor get into a fight. Jennifer Hale kills both of them, yes. So Jennifer Hale murders Jennifer Hale, but also Tribor dies. Seto gets pissed and convinced... The contrast here, right? Twindell climbs a tree to rest. Damn, I thought I was going to say she just died somehow. Johnny, Melina, and Sindel discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Oh, Sindel and Melina are bonded and Johnny Cage is like, that's one fucked up family, that. Rain, Kenji, and Kung Jin are sleeping shifts. So you're telling me that Nero and Virgil are sleeping in shifts alongside Rain, who's just here, I guess. Devora can't handle the circus. <laughs> Devora... Devora Harakiris herself because she can't handle the pressure. Get on my level. Noob Cybot collects fruit from a tree. Sector Kenshi, Johnny, Sonya track down and kill Cyber Sub Zero. Why are the special forces working with Sector to kill Sector's own comrade, who is who was formerly their comrade before he got mind control? Or he would have been, but then he becomes their comrade after being freed. And, you know, this makes no sense. You know, I don't think whatever it is that runs this thing is familiar with Mortal Kombat lore. Something tells me that's not the case. Nightwolf bleeds to death due to unrelated injuries. Untreated injuries. <laughs> Sorry. That is... Oh. Things are ramping up now. Liu Kang injures himself. Shao Kahn receives clean water. Melina collects fruits. Rain and Shinnok hunt for tr other tributes. Sindel fishes. Baraka searches for a water source. Kung Jin fishes again. Twindel injures herself. Good. Tanya travels to higher ground. Whew. So... Jax, Eren Black, Kronika, Triborg, Devorah, Cyber Sub-Zero, and Nightwolf have all died. So the Special Forces finally lost someone, but everyone managed to get a kill. So they're still arguably the strongest team. Kung Jin is still going. Kotal's forces have officially been wiped out. Uh, Liu Kang is remaining true to his original characterization by not killing people. He's going to hold out until the end and just kill one person. And here's Shao Kahn, he got three kills. See, this is one of the things, I, I would like it if this thing could have power levels. Like, imagine that, like, if the thing had, had power levels, or like, tiers of like, your favourite. So it's like, if you were putting a bunch of characters, you could choose who's more likely to live. Like, there's been people on my Discord server who have done their own Hunger Games things with whatever character they want to, since seeing my video. And someone updated me that they did a couple that featured Edelgard von Hressfeld from Fire Emblem Three Houses, and she died in both. There's one where I believe she died and got avenged by Sindel. Like, I think Sindel killed the person who killed her not long after. Which is pretty based, you know, why 
waifu solidarity. But because I have that, some characters could survive. So you could have like Liu Kang Gung and Chao Kahn and Sindel and Scorpion, Sub Zero, you know, the higher tier characters are just more likely to survive. Where someone like Scarlet and Kano don't get that kind of protection. And there are a few ways it could work. One could just be the, the odds of them being killed, or it could be they run into a life or death situation. The higher tier they are, they got more points, so they got more extra lives effectively. Liu Kang is top tier, so he runs into a life or death situation. He's going to pull out on top. You know, it could be interesting. Melina's faction is still fully alive and they've got four kills, so they're also a dominant faction. Despite the fact that it entirely consists of jobbers, like not a single one of these characters wins any fights in the Netherrealm era. And Baraka loses a lot of fights. Shinok and Nuba still go in, which, yeah, those are the two highest tier characters in that faction. A final boss and a spin-off game protagonist who defeated him. Twindale's still going for Kronika's faction. Ironically, all the Kronika characters are dead. Twindale's the only one keeping that flag waving. The Cyberlin Quay is down to one member because he killed the other one. These guys have got, got a lot of kills. Cyber Sub Zero had three kills, and then Sexor just murdered him for no reason. What an asshole. And then Team's Aftermath and Ninjas have been completely wiped out. So that's three teams that have been completely eliminated. Sad days, boys. Oh, I should do an Injustice one of these. It would be true to the characters in Injustice that they're all just fucking violently murdering each other. Because one of the things where I, I would like to do more of these with other franchises is just... It'd be a bit weird to see, like, Hitomi or Ling Xiaoyu just, like, ganking someone. Rain convinces Sonya Blade to snuggle with him. To be fair... He did share Johnny's voice actor in MKX, so that could be how he's doing it. Melina quietly hums. Those are quietly hurts. Shinnok tends to his wounds. Tektor cooks his food for putting his fire out. Oh, he did a fire now. Twindale thinks about home. You have no home, you fucking bitch. You ruined it for yourself. Sindel, Baraka, Tanya, Kungjin tell ghost stories to lighten the mood. What a bizarre... No, I'm going to stop saying that. Liu Kang gets explosives. Johnny and Kenji huddle for warmth. Makes sense. Noob Cyborg fish, uh, receives fresh food. And Shao Kahn dies. <laughs> Shao Kahn dies from first. <laughs> oh, that 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 is fucking brilliant. I love that so much. Con copies replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Seto throws a knife into Melina's head. Jesus Christ. Sindel doesn't go to the feast. Sonya spears Kenchi in the abdomen. Why? M maybe it's just like the wrestling move, like like uh, Edge does. But probably not. It would be funny if Scorpion did it though. I think Scorpion just never got a chance to use a spear or a rope in either of these. Johnny Cage, Noob Cybot, Shark, and Tanya team up to grab food supplies, weapons, and memoirs. Johnny Cage is going to team up with Shinnok. What happened? What happened to you, Johnny? What? You, you, you're evil. You murdered your daughter. You're teaming up with the bad guys. Sonya's fucking cheated on you with a guy who has the same voice as you. What happened, Johnny? Is it? Is this the, the, the Hollywood Hogan phase? Hollywood Johnny Cage? Fuck. Uh, Rain kills Twindell for her supplies. Uh, I don't know if you watch these videos, but uh, Yanni of the Realmcast, um, thank you. Your love and support of Rain has borne fruit as he has murdered Twindell in cold blood. Thank you. Liu Kang kills Kung Jin with a hatchet. For God's sake. You know, you go from what something good happening to something bad. It's like, uh, you know, people are gonna look at it and go, "Oh yeah, I remember when he said I'm aware of your proclivities." And like, "Oh, what, what? Wait, Liu Kang is like super homophobic," and it turns out. Murdered him with a hatchet. I, I I guess he was. It's kind of wild that Liu Kang has gone this long. I'm, what day is it? We're on like day seven, I think. He'd gone for a week without killing anyone. And then he just murders Kung Jin, the younger cousin of his best friend, who is theoretically related to him as well. What the fuck? Baraka doesn't go to the feast. Baraka's not the kind of guy who would go to the feast and eat the people who were there. Oh no, that's night six. Okay. Dear Seven, Baraka searches for a water source. Sindel hunts for the tributes. Johnny tends to Liu Kang's wounds. Johnny Cage is evil. Liu Kang just murdered Kung Jin. And Johnny's like, yeah, buddy, let me heal you up. Shinnok picks flowers. <laughs> Sektor and Rain work together to drown Noob Saibot. Yeah, Rain actually drowns someone. That makes perfect sense. It could be cool if you could pick your favorite methods or methods a character would never use. There's a lot of ways to think this thing could be improved, but for it, but it might be better without it. Because if I was if I was to do that and make it that, you know, Rain prefers drowning people. Sector likes explosives. You wouldn't get funny shit like Sector throws a knife into Melina's skull and uh, Moloch kills a bunch of dudes with explosives. Sonya dies from hunger. Oh. And Tanya dies of dysentery. Ugh. So, Shao Kahn, Melina, Kenshi, Twindell. How did Twindell last this long? Kung Jin, Noob Saibot, you can barely tell has died because the portrait was already monochrome, basically. Sonya and Tanya have all died. Oh, the, the character is based on Ed Bo named after Ed Boon's sisters, rather, who have both been voiced by Jennifer Hale. They died at the, the same time. So the combat kids are all dead. Evil Johnny Cage is the only special forces member left. 
Molina's faction has become Rain's faction now, which is Rain and Baraka, because what else is Baraka going to do? Go work. No, Shao Kahn's dead. Yeah, so Shao Kahn's supposed to be wiped out. So Baraka can't go and serve Shao Kahn again. And it's like, what are you going to do? Go serve Shinnok? Or are you going to just work with Rain? You might as well stick with Rain. It's better than nothing. So now we we'll proceed to Night 7. Sector looks at the night sky. <sighs> Not really the sentimental type. Liu Kang receives explosives. Didn't he already get explosives before and just didn't use them? Yeah, he got explosives and just used a hatchet instead. Sindel looks at the sky. Shinnok thinks about home. Didn't he already do that? Oh, Baraka Rain and Johnny Cage get into a fight. Rain kills both of them. Oh, see, Baraka trusted you, Rain. You son of a bitch. Fucking asshole. Shinnok falls into a pit and dies. <laughs> Which ironically is what happens to Quan Chi in mythology. So he falls off a bridge into a long fall and just explodes for no reason. For no reason. Now the real ones will get that one for no reason. Rain collects fruit from a tree. Sector searches for a water source. Why? Sindel makes a wooden spear, and Liu Kang tries to spear fish with it. He's doing a lot of fish in this guy. It doesn't know the main M MK lore and the character personalities and, and uh, affiliations, but it does know obscure details, like the fact that Liu Kang is a fisherman. Baraka, Johnny, and Sherlock have all been killed. So, combat kids, special forces, and Coastal Khan's force is gone. Sindel's still around, Liu Kang's still around, Shao Kahn's force is eliminated. Rain is the one left in Edenian Usurper faction. He's got five kills. Rain's just dominated in this. I can see why people constantly want him back in the games as DLC. It'll be so fucking fu- I reckon Rain's gonna be in, in Mortal Kombat 1. He's gonna be a DLC cameo fighter. People are gonna cry about it and everyone's gonna go- <laughs> It's literally gonna happen. Shinox forces, the Brother of the Shadow. Kronika's forces all gone. Sector's still going. So what we've got left, we've got Sector, Rain, Liu Kang, Sindel. Is that really it? Just those four? If someone's gonna die in this one, we can tell. Liu Kang thinks about winning. Sindel, Sector and Rain sleep in shifts. So, these three have just decided to form this big alliance against Liu Kang. Sector tries to sleep through the entire day. Liu Kang throws a knife into Rain's head. <laughs> Why is it with Liu Kang and bladed weapons? He's got explosives twice and he's not used them. And Sindel just hurts herself. Night 9, Liu Kang screams for help again. Sector shoots a poisonous blow dart into Sindel's neck, slowly killing her. Aww. Oh. That does seem like something Sector might have, though. So I'll, I'll give you I'll give you that. I'm glad Sindel made it into the top three. Kind of the main goal of this whole thing, I guess. See that Sindel makes it past Twindel. If that didn't happen, if Twindel outlived Sindel, I might have just scrapped the whole thing. But fortunately, I didn't. So we get to see Johnny Cage beat his daughter's head in with a rock. And, you know, Garrus gets strangled to death in the first round. <laughs> How does a cyborg die of hypothermia? Especially one who has a flamethrower and flame fuel. And it's wild how it's like, oh yeah, the, the last death. Liu Kang's not even there. Sector just fucking dies. And the winner is Liu Kang. So, what you're telling me is, in the Mortal Kombat Hunger Games universe, which I, I will revisit once MK1 is out, uh, I don't know if I'll wait till after all the DLC is out and then include all those characters, I'll just go with what's in the base roster. But, in the Mortal Kombat Hunger Games universe, Shiva is the sole survivor of Armageddon, which leads to Kronika resetting the timeline and trying again. Because she, Shiva winning is fucking stupid. And then Liu Kang emerges victorious in Kronika's new second timeline and becomes the fire god, gets the hourglass and gets to reset the timeline for his own purposes. So we just have a more entertaining, fun and interesting version of the Netherrealm timeline right here. This thing is incredibly dumb, and it leads perfectly into Mortal Kombat 1. He is now the Fire God. So, how are his Hunger Games going to play out? So, going all the way to the bottom. Yeah, Garrus went out like a bitch. Raiden managed to get a kill, but then died early on. Ferrito got three kills. I don't remember a single one of them. So, Frost got three kills. Kung Lao got five. But I think Rain has the most. Shanks got a kill. Cyber Sub-Zero got three. Nairo for two. Shao Kahn did three. Twindel got two. Fortunately, no one died to Kronika, which is accurate. Rain got five kills, and so did Sector. And Liu Kang is the winner. So Kung Jin was the longest-lasting Netherrealm era character, like the character who was made in the Netherrealm era. Of all the characters, he's the one who lasted the longest, and Garrus is the one who went out first. The top ten are all characters from MK1 to 4, which again is very indicative of MK. So this thing, there are certain spots where this thing knows about MK. It knows Liu Kang is a fisherman and that he's the best fighter, so of course he wins. It knows that Sindel's one of the top tier fighters. It knows people really like Rain. It knows how fucked fatalities are. It knows that Baraka is, a, is an absolute fan favourite. It knows that Noob Cybot should be canonically one of the best fighters, but for some reason he's just not. And it knows that Netherrealm always favours characters from the first three or four games and anything before that just doesn't get anything. And then here's the full rundown. Took 10 days, but Liu Kang ultimately emerged victorious. I forgot Devorah killed herself. <laughs>
So once again, I'm going to copy all this down. I'm going to put it in the description so you can reread it or share it around or what have you. The next one will be the MK guest characters. I might put the Injustice guest characters in as well, depending on, on numbers, because I might need to, you know, make up numbers. And if not, I might just throw in like a couple of other random guests I just thought up. Although it would be kind of funny given the, the characters who've been leaked as the three guest characters for MK1. But I don't want to hold off on that for too long because, you know, it, it's June now. I don't want to wait till September, October for the opportunity to do that episode. So I'm going to do that one. Then I'll, I'll do Injustice ones. I might even do MK versus guest characters or MK versus Injustice. You know, something, something like that just, just to see how it plays out. Like, will evil Superman murder Raiden? Who knows? All I know is it's been going on for a long time and I'm looking forward to making another one of these that's a lot shorter because with guests there's not nearly as many of them by all means rip this idea off do your own hunger games things the link to the site is in the description as, as before and you know let me know some of the wild shit on, on twitter or discord that ends up happening in yours like i'll display a couple of the highlights here that other person on my discord server came across because there's funny shit there i want to see more madcap shit like characters who are from like a medieval setting just throwing out plastic explosives and just killing like eight people i wonder what the maximum number of people who can die in one encounter is because I, th I think Moloch got three of them. So that could be funny. 